god. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you guys are probably waiting for this one. <laughs> All right. So we're back again uh, for a second time this week. Uh, if you notice, we have someone new hiding in the back because he's too shy to be in the front. And you want to introduce That's yourself? That's me. Then? Shy. Reserved. <laughs> Just hiding in the back. Hi. <laughs> I'm Muha. How's it going? Hey, that's that's Muha. He has opinions to offer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we're yes. waiting for it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we just got a uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, a new uh, kind of sort of Michael Bay reboot. It's not. Uh, it's not even Michael Bay. It's not. It's, it's, it's it produced is, by I'm Michael Bay. I'm saying this is someone who produced gives Michael Bay, Bay a fair chance. Yeah, it's it's produced by Michael mm -hmm. Bay, and, and it has his fingerprints all over it. It does, but it's, it's, you can also yeah. tell it's not directed by Michael Bay. Yeah. I've seen. Enough Michael Bay movies to know this is not directed by Michael yeah. Bay. Um, he's not even good at the things Michael Bay is good at. Yeah, exactly. So, so uh, I guess before we get into this, we should go a little bit over our own history of Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'm unbiased. I did not grow up on Ninja Turtles at all, so I really came with this like zero expectations. Oh <laughs> yeah. Um, I used to watch the cartoon. Like I wasn't like super into it, but like I remember I enjoyed it. But that being said, once I got past that old '90s cartoons, like I. And some of those movies, I remember nothing about it for the most part. I grew up on the cartoon, saw the movies in theaters, watched the rebooted TV show with the female character Venus de Milo that they added in, um, oh, yeah. and owned and read the original comic books, which were completely different and way yep. darker <laughs> yep. in black and white by the original <laughs> Eastman and Laird. Um, I have not kept up with the recent iterations, but I just heard they were good and good for kids, so I was like, okay, nothing bad there. Actually, watching them of the newer show is actually pretty good. I heard it was pretty yeah. fun, so that's fine. Good for that. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm open to new ideas, and I realize that each iteration of the Turtle franchise is like you know, new. So it's it could be different as long as it retains a certain spirit. This did not. Uh, now, Sarah knows. I know this one wounded you the most. Yeah. So <laughs> I grew up with uh, with the 1988 Turtle cartoon. I had all but one of the episodes on VHS. I had a full set of the toys until I decided to give them to uh, a boy that I knew at the, the time who, who uh, was, was sick and it made him happy. Uh, but uh, I, I was a fan. I watched, I got up early on Saturday mornings to even watch the Red Sky era of the Saturday morning uh, incarnation of, uh, of it. I, I, I watched some of the the live action movies. I I watched it. Uh, the even the third one. <laughs> the third one was cool, man. All right. The third one was Turtles in Time. Yes. It wasn't meant to be canon. It was just them having fun in the past. Okay. <laughs> they got to mess with real samurai, and somehow they brought April with them. And I don't know. It doesn't make sense. It's the '90s, bro. Come yes. On. And <laughs> so, so that's forgivable, and yet this isn't. And this th at least that was fun. Yes. Oh, fair enough. And, and right. I. I also watched the, the, the TV show with the, the, the magical female turtle. Uh, yeah, Venus de Milo. Yes. <laughs> so, I'm... I feel like we're out of our element here, Grant. <laughs> I read, no, I read about this character who was very short-lived. Yes. You saw she, the character, okay? We yes. grew to love her, Grant. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No, all I know is that she just, like, she, like, disappears and, like, they don't even explain what the hell happened no, to her. No, she really is one of those characters that they just add, like, well, maybe we can diversify it or something. I don't really know what their end was. But it was funny because she did provide a good foil to all the, you know, goofy teenage boy stuff that was going on. Like, she'd be the one to walk in and be like, you guys are dumb. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty great. Yes. So, yes, I'm a fan, and I, I, I still have a strong sense of nostalgia for the 1988 cartoon. And this... Okay, I recognize that that cartoon was not high art, and neither was this film. <laughs> We're not holding this uh, to high art stamp. No. Yes, uh, that, that's correct. We are not. That being said, this... Hurts. Okay, let me just put it this way. this to Michael Bay standards, I'm unbiased. Guys, I thought this movie sucked. This <laughs> hurts. It was really bad. I came in this half drunk because I had a couple beers before I walked in there. Uh, I'm <laughs> smelling the beer now, actually. Uh, Sorry. I, I should have... Yeah, I rolled down the window. <laughs> have had drinks. <laughs> Thanks, Grant, for your selfie. I, I should have had drinks before coming in 
to this, but... There's a bar my, five second walk if, away If from I get here. really, really upset, I might leave for a few minutes in the middle of this and come back <laughs> yeah. a little more drunk. <laughs> uh, I'll thing. just order like two drinks and chug them. I'll be yeah. right back. Tell, tell the beer bartender you're a friend of mine. She'll probably give you a free yeah. beer. I'll tell, <laughs> no, I'll tell the bartender you're a friend of mine for the first beer and then tell her I just saw Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for the second one. <laughs> Here's the thing I find kind of funny, though. It's like, I'm... Like, obviously... I agree with those critics. This is not the best movie ever made. It's it's down there, but I mean, it's not the worst thing I've seen. No, it's that not. That being said, it's it's not. Just soulless. Yeah. No, it this was. thing I find funny is like the appreciation between like the Turtles fans is so divided. <laughs> really? Because no. this has twenty percent of Rotten Tomato right Let now. Put it this way. That doesn't look divided no. to me. One of my friends is like a huge fan. He's basically like in the same boat as you guys. Like, okay. he actually he didn't. He said it wasn't you know wasn't that great, but you know it wasn't that bad. And quote said quote unquote. Did not agree with the idea that number two was somehow better than this one. I never saw number two, so I didn't know. I didn't watch the original. All, I remember, not, all I remember was Vanilla Ice. That's. Uh, all yeah. I remember. Go ninja, go ninja, go! Stop it. Yeah, <laughs> like that was the funny part. It's like when when the rap was released, like the new rap for this movie was released online. I kept reading the the, the online comments like the Vanilla Ice version was so much better. It's like guys. Listen to what you're saying. <laughs> you're saying the Vanilla Ice rap about Ninja Turtles here's is better thing, than though. the new rap about Ninja Turtles. Here, here's the thing, though. Like, way back in the day, Vanilla Ice was still goofy shit. Yeah. And when it came to, like... When it came to the point where they did it in the movie, it was goofy because it, it was almost like they were simultaneously making fun of Vanilla Ice for yeah. being the kind of guy who would rap with the turtles. Like, the Go Ninja Go thing was, it was meant to be a Saturday morning cartoon rap. Yes. Mm. But like, this one is actually trying to act like it's appealing to people in their 20s. And like, yeah. it's actually trying to act like this is a sick rap because it's got the turtles on it. Go Ninja Go was never a good song. Although, <laughs> yeah. No, nor that it yeah. claimed to be. Yeah, it was like, hey, let's have fun. And that was the main thing about the turtles for me. Let's have fun. Yes. I did not have fun. No, it really yeah. wasn't. Here's like, the thing. And the jokes like, weren't funny. Oh, yeah. And the plot convenience fairies work overtime. Yeah. In it, this. What plot? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like, could you follow? Like, I would usually go over the plot the of this movie. Series, I can't fucking follow it. The series of MacGuffins. Yes. It was. It was. Um. Yeah. If you want, it, like, if, basically, are we? Are we? Uh, what? Is, what's the like? How, how much do we talk about spoilers. here? Spoilers. Like, we can talk whatever yeah. the fuck we, we want. We just spoil Let's, everything. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Like, if you want, if you are watching the movie, you know we didn't like it. So fuck it. Spoilers all the way. Okay. okay. Um. Well then. Um. Let's see. April is, for some reason, I can't tell if she's supposed to be 20 or just out of her teens in the movie. Neither can I. Because, like, <laughs> I think that her character's supposed to be, like, 19 or something, and no, the intern they, at the place, or, like... They mentioned she's out of college. They remember the whole four years of journalism school Oh, uh, yeah. it is, sorry, that, yeah. Because uh, that exists. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's a gap. No, okay. I did this because, like... 22-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> so, right, that was before you came in, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, I missed the first few minutes. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that, and, yeah, you didn't miss anything. Because yeah, you were like, you know what, I chose... See, I got a text from you and just said, I, I showed us between eating and seeing the first few minutes of the shitty turtle movies. <laughs> so. Yeah, it was basically a choice between me seeing the whole, sitting through that whole thing hungry or missing the first couple minutes and grabbing something quickly on the way there. And I was like, um. You made the right choice. Yes, you did. did. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so April is at the news place and they don't trust her because she's young and inexperienced or whatever. Yeah. Um, it doesn't help that she doesn't seem to realize why she can't just run at people yelling, there are mutant turtles running around the city. <laughs> Uh, Which I they won't believe her, and she's like, "But why?" Which and I appreciate they acknowledge, though. Just yeah, how yeah. dumb it sounds. <laughs> I do like Mom, that. I want to go home. <laughs> I do like that, it, it, but it's like it does have the whole thing with <sighs> like anyway, why did April O'Neil have to so, have a connection with the turtles? Uh, yeah, that was yeah, that was so yeah, contrived. Uh, but we'll get said, to that. Ma machina overtime. All right, so just summarize the movie. April O'Neil not very trusted, young whippersnapper at the. Friggin' thing. Channel 6 News. Um, Channel 6 News, right. Generic as possible. Yes. Um, Turtles, the Foot Clan is a Mil cartel people. kind of uh, thing that's taken on the city and wants yeah. to take it over. With that city specifically for some fucking reason. And <laughs> With machine guns. Even though they call themselves the clan. It wouldn't have, would have been much better if they were ninjas. No, 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 but here's the thing. Here's... Okay, okay anyway. Moving on. So the, the, the foot is a thing, and vigilantes are taking these things out, and everyone's wondering what's going on. Well, nobody's wondering what's going on. April's wondering what's going on, because she's the only one who sees it. And then April tries to convince people that something's going on, and no one believes her, even though she has, like, 
an entire story about a shipment and it being taken down and like she doesn't know who took it down and instead of paying attention to all the things like there was a shipment and it got taken down and investigating that the reporters are like oh sounds like you're chasing spooky like oh you found superman like they make fun of the fact that she talks about things that seem supernatural so obviously let's not look at the rest and yeah so i uh, she goes after it again she gets captured by the clan as they're doing a thing turtles rescue her tell her don't talk about us and she immediately Splinters, talks about her to like yeah five she immediately runs out and tries to convince more people they don't believe her uh splinter tells the turtles to get her they get her they get attacked yeah. turtles are almost taken down Raphael has to save the day final battle happens as they save the turtles and then run out and try to stop splinter from poisoning the city so they can no shredder from poisoning the, the no sorry the shredder city. splinter told them to come back shredder yes. told them is going to poison the city so that he can cure them with the mutagen cure that he's going to create out of the blood of the turtles that he's kidnapping as they're poisoning the city <laughs> You know it's bad when they're ripping off their plotline for the Amazing Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I mean, jeez. And not, let's not even get to the fact that they're talking about how they need to save the turtles' like blood so they can drain the blood and use it for the mutagen. And Shredder is like a walking. He looks like a transformer. He's got so many extra <laughs> useless parts. He sounds parts. like Darth Vader. Yeah, he's got a, a bunch of extra useless parts all over his suit. And these knives that he can shoot and magnetically bring back, which leads to some pretty funny, ridiculous-looking fights. Yeah. And, um... I kind of like the Shredder scenes, to be honest. Was, <laughs> well, I mean, there were the action bits. Michael Bay... It was the only thing that Michael Bay would have made sure was good. Um... <laughs> even then, but, I couldn't even tell what the hell was happening. But then, like, they... Well, yeah, it was directed by the director of the Battle of Los Angeles. There you go. Um, uh, okay. But, um... But then, <laughs> like, they have the final battle, and of course, they win. So... They saved. Good Yay! Job. And the problem is all the parts in between don't work. No, they don't. They really don't. Like, the only thing I really kind of like of this movie was the fact I kind of liked the actors who played the actual turtles. Yeah. Like, I thought they kind of worked okay off each other. <sighs> I kind of did. I don't yeah. know. I, I like, think... everything else sucked, but I like them. <laughs> yeah. The, the turtles in this movie felt to me like what a bro would think of the original turtles, and then he would take those elements and put them into new turtles. Yeah, like I said, this is coming from a non-turtle fan. I know, so. but they made Donatello a nerd with, nerd with, dude. Wearing yeah. glasses. Yeah. With tape. Donatello yeah. never Everything. wore glasses before. Donatello never wore glasses. He was never nerdy. He was also the quiet, contemplative, like, thoughtful one. It was meant to denote wisdom, not he's a geek. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, like, Michelangelo was like like the goofy party dude but he wasn't stupid mm -hmm. None he was of them just were. fun and when he ha was having a good time he could always snap out of it and get back and like he would make wisecracks at points where it was funny but not during actual points that were problems michelangelo mm -hmm. was always my, my favorite and they made him sound so dumb here yeah they made michelangelo stupid stoner dude instead of making him like a you know a good natured like surfer guy like he was in the original He's straight up dumb in this movie. Yes. To a point where it's pretty much offensive. Yes. <laughs> like, I liked Michelangelo. He was my dude. Everyone chose a turtle back then that they wanted to be. I was Michelangelo, Me dude. Too. <laughs> and they fucked him up. I'm yes. not okay with that. <laughs> Same here. Great, I think we should just leave. <laughs> <laughs> I think Sarah and Mohawk got this. I told you I'm upset! <laughs> no, by all means, go for it. I talk way too much on my own oh. damn show. I... I, <laughs> I told you that this hurts. This <laughs> no, no, by all means, you guys should do most of the talking. I know nothing about the turtles. I never really yeah. cared. I, mean, it's just, I know where they came I, from. I know I, the origins. But I, like, I came to this thinking it was a Michael Bay movie and that I might get, you know, Bad Boys Michael Bay instead of Transformers Michael Bay. And I got the leftovers of Transformers Michael Bay with a guy who doesn't even know how to direct put behind it. It's still better than Transformers 4. I'm not seeing Transformers 4 and we're not <laughs> seeing the bar at poop. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... I broke my leg. Well, at least it wasn't amputated. So what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was that from? <laughs> what? what was that? That's an example to Sorry. just let you know what that sounds like yeah. to me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh it's like it's like whenever tries to whenever anyone tries to tell me that you know to, tries to make me feel better by saying it could have been worse. Fuck you! It could have been worse. Yeah. It could always be worse. Oh, and it's it's no secret that in the Turtles franchise, April O'Neil is is the damsel in distress and the Turtles' connection to the outside world. But 
even it, in the original cartoon, she was inquisitive and she was smart. Yes. Yeah, like, competent. Yes. Fuck, fuck Megan Fox. And she All right. did it. No, 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 no. She it didn't Megan need a Fox, man dude. for everything. No, I mean, this, top of the bad writing. This yeah. incarnation of April O'Neil, poorly played by by Megan Fox, needs a man to get anything done. <laughs> <sighs> There's no one else in this garage, right? <laughs> like, she's just there to be the dumbass in distress, and she's just yep. there for the male gaze. In all fairness, as we said, Don't everyone is kind of a dumbass in this movie, though. No, they really are. I'm like, Quite a few people that's... need saving as well. It's... Uh... But it's, I know, see what you're getting at. No, it's just, it's just a lot of pointlessness. Like it's she, yeah, and the she was like, a lot more competent in the originals, and she yes. was a lot smarter. She was like, she was someone that the turtles could hang out with and like talk to and make plans with mm -hmm. and respect, and she could actually be another important part of their plans. Yes. she wasn't just this girl who stumbled upon the t upon the turtles and they're my pets from when I was little. Oh, that was oh. such bullshit. I hate that bug. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, the whole, th oh yeah, and, like, and uh, I don't know. the turtles were from a lab experiment that her father was involved in. Of course, in, killed of course, that's what happened. Her destroyed well, years ago, and she discovers that they're the turtles that she named when she was really tiny. Never mind the fact that there's no real way for them to, you know, have retained the names that they were given. Well, apparently Let's Splinter not forget that. that Splinter, yeah, sure. Splinter remembered the names, and, and then grew way faster than them, and then promptly started raising them at a pace where they would be larger than him. And it's it, it's very weird. To it all me, that, oh, sorry, that, that Splinter is voiced by, by Tony Shalhoub. Yes. Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. That it, Monk's voice coming out of 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 Splinter was very strange. Like, was wasn't me. Splinter human in the original show? No, like no. he turned yeah. into he was a, rat? a rat? No, no. Because no, like, in the, I guess no. it was because the newer show they had him like as a human that turned into a rat. But okay, in, that's kind of weird. In the yeah. original cart cartoon, he was. A human Japanese sensei who get uh, uh, spends time with with rats and comes in contact with with the, mutagen. With mutagen and gets mixed with the rat and then he becomes the rat. Yes. And that's it's not the rat turning into a human. Okay, that's, uh, that's okay. But he wasn't right. originally. He, it wasn't like Splinter was a human as a character. No, but his origins were. Okay, yeah, because like, yes. like and the newer show apparently has like, actually like a personal connection with Splinter. Uh, well, Shredder. Well, but. here's the thing. That's another thing. It made. Th th he was sure he knew. <laughs> he knew martial arts and he became a rat and he taught it to the turtles. He didn't learn ninjutsu by reading a book no. that someone threw in the sewer. By the way, people throw throw instruction to ninjutsu into the sewers, apparently. In New York, what are they going to use it for? the rat not only knows how to read, but knows how to interpret it and train himself to fucking mastery <laughs> on his own in the sewers. Where does he get a fucking katana? <laughs> or nunchucks. <laughs> where does he like really? Where or shurikens or whatever the hell? I don't. Sai. Sai. Mm. Thing. <laughs> no, but I. I pretty much, my biggest problem with the movie is only enough just the pacing, which is horrible. From the pacing beginning was to end. terrible. There was yeah. no from, connection. From beginning to end, it's like it, I thought this movie could have been okay if they actually took their fucking time to interest the characters, actually talk like how the characters interact with each other. Here's they could have been better, but no, like, it rushes through from beginning to end. It goes from action plot point to action plot point, and then just keeps going to rush through the entire thing. You know, you know what would have been better is that if they stop assuming that we care about people just because they lost their dad or some shit. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. If you they killed my father. Prepare to die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best part of this movie experience. <laughs> there was a lot of extremely predictable shit. Yeah. Um, but just the fact uh, that they don't seem to know what makes people care about characters. Yeah. yeah. And on top of that, I feel like this movie was made by somebody who didn't even... Uh, it sounds silly coming out of my mouth, but didn't even respect the original Teenage yeah. Mutant Ninja Turtles franchise. Yes. And that's the kind of... The, once again, that's kind of the funny thing, though. Like, this all shows the divide between the original creators. It's like, mm -hmm. one of the one I can't remember which one's which. I know, like, one of them said, oh, yeah, I love the way they did this. And, of course, the other creator's like, this is frickin' terrible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Once again, as I said, I, which I, well, I was like, even the original incarnation of the Mutant Ninja Turtles wasn't meant to be taken seriously. But even uh, then, it, it was more fun. It was satire no, for Daredevil no, at the time. No, was it not? No, it was Daredevil made an appearance in the original comic book. No, the com no original comics for Teenage Mutant Turtles. They were supposed to. Be, they were pretty serious, weren't they? The original Very comics dark. for yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were one, fucked up and bloody. Yeah. And two. Not even in the name of justice. The turtles were being named, were being raised specifically to get revenge on Shredder. Well, wasn't it supposed to be like satire in the Daredevil comics Frank Miller was writing at the time? No. 
That's what that's what not I read. Not as far as I know. I mean, maybe like, you read something that I didn't. But yeah, I, like that's correct. I heard but the, the was very, up. very, very original comics were um, them being basically mercenaries raised by Splinter to take revenge on Shredder. Well, cause see, the actually the original origins, like the chemical that makes Daredevil blind, is the same chemical that makes the Ninja Turtles. Oh yeah, Ninja I Turtles. read about that. Yeah, that's actually something that in the uh, writers intentionally put in there. That makes like, sense. Like in fact, Daredevil actually appears in the original comic books. That's bizarre. I never. So yeah, like that's that actually is true. I read out like, it's like really the whole weird. the whole Ninja Turtles actually inspired by Frank Miller Daredevil comics at the time. Hmm. Okay, well, <laughs> that's why it's called. So. That's why the Ninja Clan is called the Foot. It was a parody on the hand that was in the Marvel oh, comics. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. I can't believe I didn't see that. <laughs> um, but I. Yeah. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Maybe you read something I didn't. I don't know. But um. Yeah, I would. I would basically compare the soullessness to the in this to the soullessness in the Daredevil movie. That would be a pretty good comparison. Yeah, actually, yeah. the pretty good comparison. Um, the whole it, it, it's you know those moments where somebody has like they're doing a moment in the movie that you feel like it's supposed to be emotional mm -hmm. and like you feel like it's supposed to be a revelatory moment because there's some there's a symphony playing somewhere and yeah. like <laughs> and you're just oh maybe maybe this is supposed to mean something. I'm just gonna. I understand that I'm supposed to care about it. I'll just yeah. continue in the movie with that understanding. But no, it's it, there's no character development. There's no reason to care about any of these characters. And people can say that that's bullshit. That like you know, the the human element or the the friendship element isn't a part of it. But I disagree deeply. I think that the brotherhood between the turtles was a core element. That of, has always been the core element yeah, of the, the Ninja so Turtles. Like, even series. I, I don't not, watch not show. Even I know that big action pieces and like the fact that they're mutants and all that stuff. I, it's it's. It's really a matter of how they're brothers, and mm. the way that they were brothers with each other, like, the, tr the crap that they would give each other was still brotherly. It was like, ah, come on, you're just being dumb or something. But, like, in this movie, I felt like they were actually, like, some of the some of the criticism was actually, like, malicious, almost. Yes. A little bit, like, yeah. Raphael like... was a genuine asshole. Yes. Yeah. Like, he wasn't, yeah. like... They, he wasn't I mean, kind of just the hard ass who made like the the jerky comments. Like he was actually like, he was one of those. Near the end of the movie, they think they're gonna die, and he has this huge speech about, "I really love you guys, and I only ran because I was afraid." And like, oh my god, yeah. <laughs> no, it was dumb. and but it's... Uh, it's it's a complete misunderstanding of what camaraderie means, and it seems to be. It's written by somebody who doesn't even get what it's like to have mm. real friends and care about them. Yes. Like, that's what it feels like. There we go. That's our conclusion for this review, is the director has no friends. <laughs> well, <laughs> even if he thinks he does, he really doesn't. He'll have even fewer friends uh, after they see this piece of shit. No. They're going to make a sequel. He's going to have lots of friends. Uh, no, he has business friends. That's the only yeah. friends he knows. The yes men. Mm -hmm. The yes men that don't tell him. It's like, no, that's fucking stupid. But have, have well, any unfortunately, seen... this movie made decent money, so... Well, yeah. uh, well we contributed to that. Yeah, I was going to say, we paid to see it, so... Um, but here's... here's Has anyone else seen other movies that this guy has directed? Like, Battle for Los Angeles? I saw Battle yes. for Los Angeles, and that movie similarly too. bland. Yeah, that was really bad. It just yeah. lacks personality. It's just, like, it's so boring. That's the yeah. thing, like, you make one long action, it just gets fucking boring. The snow battle scene that was... That was cool. That was, was cool. As great as people are saying, d despite the fact that for some reason every t every time the semi passes over the characters, it sounds like a transformer. Yeah, I'm just, <laughs> I don't get that. Um, as a sound guy, I just do not get that. Um, I also don't understand why, for some reason, April O'Neil is still one of those fucking reporters. Just like the fact that you know, I love I love Twenty Four to death, but I don't understand why. <laughs> Jack Bauer still occasionally forgets to put his phone on silent. <laughs> really? That's how they're going to find you? Do, 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 like, whatever. So, why does this woman not know to put her phone on silent or to turn the flash off when she's taking clandestine pictures? Mm -hmm. To be fair, I've done that on accident before. Yeah, but, like, it's, it's the thing. Like, it's everywhere. Journalism school, four years. Why, why <laughs> would you not turn the flash off a camera? Why? Mm -hmm. <laughs> why? I think I think at least all of us at least at one point we just literally just shouted out what <laughs> at yeah. some yes. point for the course of the week there was a part where like both me and Grant literally just turned our head like hmm? no he's like, <laughs> it's like oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no it's like this is nothing that's the point and we and literally were like hmm wait, no, wait, wait, wait literally just both just tilt our heads like because uh, like what in the same direction <laughs> at the same time okay let me explain that because it's a part with the. Uh, 
Megan Fox first discovers the Ninja Turtles, and yeah. she's on her, her ball to play with Whoopi Goldberg, who's barely in this movie, so I don't know why they bother casting her. Yeah, right? <laughs> she's in, like, two scenes, and both of them, she's a dick. She yeah, is. so, and she goes, she goes, uh, she, the only proof she has, like, a picture of, like, a, like, a Japanese <laughs> symbol, and she put on a plane, like, this is our proof, he goes, this is nothing, and she goes, that's the point, and both me and Grant were like, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And it's like I heard, just, I heard you two like next to me just going, "What?" and just start laughing. <laughs> and there's a point where Muha, you literally sound like, "Why?" Like, why? Like not even quiet. It's, why? Like as loud why? as you could. Yeah. <laughs> what? I, what was that for again? I, I don't even remember. I, there were many moments where I said that internally, very loud. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, it's when she's going to tread, save the turtles. And oh, the interrupt! Hang on, no, 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 no. Let's lay down this scene. Let's lay down this scene because this is golden. <laughs> okay, they finally break into the area where the turtles need help getting out of the tanks that they've been contained inside of because they're gonna have their blood drained because it has the mutagen in it, of course. Good, of so course. April O'Neil gets there and she starts banging on the glass and she's like, Donatello, tell me what to do. And he says, Adrenaline. And first off, these screens are facing away from the turtles. <laughs> I don't know why he would have known anything about adrenaline, but I, he, she, 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 she goes to the screen that's the control panel and it says, that says blood uh, draining drain. percentage. First off, I don't know how this thing measures exactly how much blood is in the fucking bodies I of these creatures. I thought like or something. I know, but it was it was a remaining. Think about it. How did, <laughs> they've never seen creatures like this before. How do they know how much blood is in them? They tested it out on Brock Lesnar and The Rock. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> So, so she goes over to this thing, and somehow, there's no fucking complex shutdown sequence or anything, even though the computer later on that Donatello has to decode is a simple command line interface from 15 years, years ago. ago. Somehow the Foot Clan is using so that it's, hardware, it's and the hardware which is my first torture device, which says, Adrenaline injection in a big touchscreen button on the fucking thing. Oh, we're draining them, we have no plans to let them free. Let's put a giant button here that is exactly what they need to break out. She's like, Oh! <laughs> I win! Not I help! Very working overtime. Like that's like that's the part of Megan Fox's character. Right? It's like there are literally points in the movie where she's like, oh, "I'm still helping." <laughs> yeah, no, it's like, how can we let a girl help? We'll put a big obvious button there. Good job. The guys. first, the problem was like my first thought was like, we need adrenaline. I just was waiting for it. Okay, you know, you know, that's all I could think of. No, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Let's, okay, let's, let's, uh, another side thing that, um, two things, big problems for me. One, the number of fucking sex jokes. The number of fucking, like, she's so hot I can feel my shell tightening. Oh, God, I forgot about that joke. That does not want, like, I feel like this movie had no idea who it was trying to make the jokes for. Yes. Because the jokes that were, like, you know how they sneak adult jokes into kids' movies? Sometimes well, they do that well. Was like a trick. Was yes. this a PG thirteen movie? Yeah, I think it's PG thirteen. I hope so. It is. No, because I mean, like, I, it, I don't, I don't know how many people first noticed that Lord Farquaad was meant to mean Lord Fuckwad, <laughs> straight up. That is snuck into that movie very subtly. Wow, you That's, know, I actually I, never noticed that. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is very My mind just got blown a little bit. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. Shrek is way better than you thought, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we Shrek always enjoy Shrek. Shrek is an Shrek, intelligent yeah. children's film. Shrek yes. is intelligent. It's it's it knows how to cater to both audiences at once. This does the same thing in the same way that like you're you're like tw like the 22 year old uncle in the family will like make dirty jokes quietly <laughs> behind the 10 year old's face, like back. Like, you yeah, do realize that 22 year old uncle, right? Or do you make dirty jokes behind your uh, youngster's backs? Well, he's, only, he's less than a year old, so yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Blame him. <laughs> but no, he's, it's just. It's he's that six months old, he doesn't know what fuck means. <laughs> yeah, right? It's that kind of humor. It's still like, oh, they won't know what an erection metaphor is. It's mm -hmm. like, they're 12, they probably do. Like spend these time days? with lonely space fixes. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. for you to go to bed. <laughs> that's, for, that's for after you go to bed. Um, <laughs> Thank you for catching the regards reference. Yeah, yeah regards. <laughs> but um, but yeah, first off, way too many sexual jokes. Yes. And the running joke of like Michelangelo being like, "She's my girlfriend. I want to be his her boyfriend. She's my girl." Oh, like it's hey there, okay. I can't, hey, I it's, just realized that's the same fucking plot line that was in Planes Two. It's never <laughs> funny. 
It's never yeah, funny not. at any point that they do it. They don't even do it in any way other than like, he's a goofball and he has the hots for her. Laugh at him! It was creepier in Planes too. There's a little bit part in the Planes too where like the, the female plane goes up to the, uh, like the main carriage and goes- This isn't a refueling joke, is it? No, it's, I like watching you sleep. An actual line from the movie. I am not yeah. making that up. There is a full-blown stalker storyline in Planes 2. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Which, you fuckers that. made me see you alone, by the way. <laughs> Second off. Um, the original iterations, I don't remember so much about the movies, but I remember the original iterations of the uh, the foot were androids. They were robots. Yes. Were they androids? I thought they were just original ninjas. No. Uh, uh, they were ninja some, robots. Yeah. Oh, okay. That makes perfect sense. It's All the right. 90s. It's a kid's cartoon based on a comic. They're ninja robots. Come on. Yes. <laughs> um, but no, they, they were... I had a... Dis like, it was weird. I had a problem with the level of violence in this movie. Really? Uh, yes. And there were points where the violence was defense. way too brutal. Really, for me, I thought I was like I couldn't tell what was yeah. happening through most of the. It action. was not. Uh, the, let me it put was it this way: brutal. the original Ninja Turtles would never have kicked a living human being through the windows of a passing subway. Uh, yes. Are you talking about original cartoon version or is a comic book version? Because the original Either. comic book version would have absolutely just murdered everyone. I don't know. If we want to go with the original dark ass shit, then like, <laughs> or whatever. But that's not what they're going for. That's true. Yeah, absolutely. And like, it's like has a complete lack of cohesion as to what vision it's going for with the turtles. I didn't. I didn't think it was that brutal. I mean, admittedly, like once again, when you look at things like Transformers, like this is pretty tame. Yeah, Why I have are we to comparing agree. it this to Transformers? Like Transformers a few times. <laughs> I just told you. Okay, <laughs> we can't keep comparing things. Well, to Transformers. it's kind of unescapable. We movie that's so much when like you watch it in things so many like ways. Wolverine. It's kind of tame. <laughs> you can't compare <laughs> the Ninja Turtles to Wolverine. I'm just saying that no. When you say like, a guy versus getting, Wolverine, no. that would be awesome. I'm just saying you're saying a guy like a guy getting kicked through a window. That's not brutal. Like Let me put it this way for a live action children's film. It's not a children's movie. It's PG thirteen. <laughs> it's basically a kids movie. Well, I don't there's know, a, it, like into there's the some, storm. It's supposed to be yeah. like yeah. it's basic. Kids are gonna see that movie. Yeah, I don't know teenagers. if you heard the little kid in the movie theater, but kids are gonna watch that movie. In all Especially fairness. because they've already rebranded it as a CG cartoon series for kids. On Nickelodeon. Yeah. In the few years leading up to this, the only context kids will have of this is that cartoon. Well, that's so. Well, even then, it's like. Uh, it's it's because yes, there are I, plenty of kids related I, things that aren't necessarily totally meant for kids like even though there's gonna be kids that have knowledge like I can get that like, I, I haven't was it, seen the Pirates of the Caribbean Disney it's a kids ride they made it a PG-13 movie where people getting stabbed left and right with fucking swords and just I haven't seen the the 2012 Nickelodeon cartoon but I've heard good things about it and as well and it's actually not bad the, like the <laughs> main things. the main positive critique that i've heard about the 2012 cartoon is that they actually make them teenagers they are not teenagers in this film well that overall they're just no, more they're likable not. and they're smarter in the cart in the newer yeah, cartoon there's no wittiness yeah. to these guys like there was yeah. a great like i watched one episode while i was on vacation last week of the new show because it was i was eating breakfast i was looking for something to watch let's do some so, research <laughs> pretty much and Please there's a great the line where there's a great line where like uh they're trying to get into the big alien base and shut off like the same way they shoot the gun, turns into a force field protecting it. They look over at Don Tell and goes, Why didn't you tell us it was a force field? And he looks and he goes, Because I want us to fail. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't know! <laughs> <laughs> See, that's turtles! So, like, yeah, that again. Yes. They're, they're just like, they're, there's a wittiness that comes with being a Ninja Turtle and like <laughs> making those jokes and everything. And yes. this sentence yeah. sounds really weird coming out of my mouth. But, <laughs> like, it, really, it's. I understand that the movie also pokes a lot of fun at, you know, the idea of Ninja Turtles is ridiculous and normal people will make fun of it and See, scoff at the idea. But it felt like. It felt like that joke was the perspective of the person making it and they're like let's mm. just make this yes. movie mm. and this is why it's cool because you would stick these elements here and they just miss the soul entirely dude like for me it's like i thought it could have worked if they actually spent more time with the characters that was my big issue with the movie is like the fact that the pacing is yeah. so damn fast they didn't have enough plot to have characters i think you said oh, it was too slow things like no i reason, said it was too fast oh, the okay. reason that the ninja turtles are supposed to like pizza is because they're fucking living in the sewers of new york and pizza gets thrown down there and it's gross and it's dirty but like it's it's the tastiest thing they got. Like, and we didn't need the shameless pizza hut. That's <laughs> why they grew Yeah, right? That's why they grew up loving pizza. But like they make it so that they grew up they love pizza because April used to feed pizza to them ah. when they were little in their cages in the laboratory. First off, what scientist doing like 
just overlooks that. Extremely high-level <laughs> scientific work will be like, yeah, daughter, take Pizza Hut and feed it to the really sensitive test subject. But why would she be in there to begin with? Like it's, uh, bring because. your daughter to work day. I don't know, obviously <laughs> mom's you ever see that the chick, picture. robot chicken sketch with the stormtrooper? It can happen. Yeah. yeah. Oh but still, I'm pretty sure she was in a lot of places that had the signs, authorized personnel only. I'm just saying. Her yes. dad authorized her. <laughs> what do you want? I said, pers <laughs> I said personnel. Why am I not defending this? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and this is a small <laughs> nitpick on, on, on my part, uh, but, but going back to the clan, uh, the Foot Clan being ninja robots in the cartoon. So when we first see the Foot Clan members in, in this film, they don't even have masks. It's they're wearing no, actually, face masks. No. Actually, they did have some. A couple they, had masks. They were they were face masks. They were masks that looked like faces. Oh, that's what you meant. Like the. Yes. Yeah, like, they looked like this mask, not. Mask. It's like the masks that they wear in like Halloween or <laughs> something. Do that again. So I'm sure you get a dis they, distinction there, Grant. They weren't trying. <laughs> No, they no, weren't. They no, there was no fucking effort here. There was no <laughs> effort to make the foot look like they were supposed to. Mm -hmm. It was seriously just like bullet points made into new concepts. Yes. It was stupid. Basically, I mean, it's better than the rumored original version of this, which again is like going back to the whole lobotomy. Like, what aliens? The aliens and the Shredder being a military guy. I wouldn't. Uh, it's it's well, the sheer fact that that was even entertained in the first place should tell you what this movie's. Like. Said, you know what's bad when that shitty CGI movie back a few years ago was actually like way better than this one. <laughs> what the TMNT one? Yeah, I heard that was actually fun. Like I don't know if I'm hurt. I, I watched all the way through, but it's I what they based the new cartoon off of. Yeah. Uh, even the new cartoon is more structured than the yeah, old. They've had the dead, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they put more effort into it th than this. Yeah, I mean, either way, it's one of those things. Well, admittedly, that one also had Patrick Stewart. And Nolan North. Oh, yeah. yeah, but this had William Fickner, and that didn't help at all. No. Uh, Even Will Arnett was not able to bring comedy out of those lines. In all fairness, a lot of things I've seen Will Arnett in, not always the best stuff. Like, you just let's have a Batman. baby! Like, you just need to be Batman. That would have solved this whole issue really quick. Uh, Will Arnett is good when he's given a good script to work yeah. with. Yeah. Yeah, like, I mean, he knows he, how he to make things... He was great in the Lego movie. He knows how to make things great. <laughs> he's one of those actors that knows how, but they didn't give him shit. They didn't give William Fickner anything. Like, the, there's actually a part where he's like, I will save the world, uh, the city, and then I'll be rich. Like, really, stupid really rich. Stupid rich. Oh, yeah, I really mean, stupid rich. He's already rich. Yeah, I was like, why do you need more? It's, like, it's, like, it's, it's not dude, our most half hazard. We are you. And he actually lets loose the line, we will be gods. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. And there's a part where, like, when the final battle with Shredder, where literally there's a part where, like, Ninja Turtles have his whole time to plan while Shredder just has his back turned for yeah. no apparent reason. Yeah. <laughs> it's All right. The giant. Or was it? It's like, the thing's going to detonate for a few seconds. So let's talk a little bit, shall we? Let's talk a little bit. And, and like, ask, Shredder's going to look at this tower for a few. Let me. <laughs> when, when the turtles specifically say, we have 50 seconds until the toxin is released. All right, let's have a conversation. <laughs> uh, exactly. That's what I was just and then, saying. And then the whole thing, like, tell me about the physics of, um, of Shredder's knives, because I don't understand how these <laughs> knives can, I don't know, suppose, I, I guess they're supposed to be sharp, but I've never seen any part of the movie where they're actually treated as though they're sharp, because... I've seen them penetrate a shit ton of stuff. <laughs> not really! Uh, there's a part where, you know, he gets not even really close to Megan Fox, and she somehow just loses grip and No, falls he, down. He, he shoots it above her head, and she yeah, freaks out. <laughs> and, and that was the part where I shouted, what? Yeah, he, he could have <laughs> shot her in the face! Why not shoot her in the face? <laughs> You want her to die! Why not shoot her in the face? <laughs> or what's the other thing I laughed at? It's just like, all right, I'm gonna tackle her. It's like, get, okay, get oh, me. she's gonna kick him in the face, and that's gonna no, that's not dies. <laughs> no, that's Why not am I her. tackling her to grab the mutagen yeah. and jumping over the edge no. of the building at and the then, same time? That's also when physics got weird. We're just like, all of a sudden, tackle, big box. What physics? It. Then all of a sudden. <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> you have uh, magnets, motherfucker. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, 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 but, but about the knives. Okay, so they can't pierce the shells of the turtles, right? Mm. Uh, they didn't, uh, they didn't really, they it, deflected the knives with their shelves. No, they used their, their they used their weapons. Did they? they? Yeah. Yeah. Every time they did, oh, no, they deflected bullets with their shells, but not yeah. the knives. Yes. Yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah, so let's let's yeah. say that the, the okay the, the the weapons are even less plausible by the way. Uh, <laughs> let's, let's assume that these yeah. <laughs> katana and and Psy just, and nunchucks. Yeah, I know. It's just 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 let's assume that these small metal things are capable of deflecting the momentum of these knives. That apparently, if you fire three barrages of them into the leg of a gigantic steel tower. 
are enough to make the tower buckle and collapse. How are you deflecting this by going? <laughs> At that point, you I was like, the fuck, I don't know. <laughs> but either way, for me, it was weird. Just like, wait, how did the thing literally just like do a complete 180, though? It's. it's I'm more like I was more thinking like yeah. Like, this is the part where, like, I got really annoyed, like, well, more so than I was already. It was the part where, like, while well, all they're fighting the Shredder is uh, Megan Fox again, the mutagen, and then she randomly just pops it back in the scene, and we're going, I got the mutagen! I'm still useful! Right before Shredder goes yeah, Why in. would she put herself <laughs> into the middle of the final battle? Because she's hey. a dumbass in distress. distress. Wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't forget. Hey, we can take this mutagen, which is the last of what's left. We got took care of the bad guy, and we can just take it and hide it from him, <coughs> and he won't be able to complete his scheme, and if he does, we'll use it to cure people. Okay. You know what? No, let's go taunt him. <laughs> <laughs> Same things you did in fucking Transformers 2, oddly enough. In the full in in full let's go taunt the six foot walking robot samurai. Like, and, yeah, and why, why does Shredder, I mean, sure, let's fucking make him a Transformer. Why is he, why does he have an exoskeleton on? Why does he have an exoskeleton on where he shoots knives? Like, part of the whole thing about Shredder was that design. he was, like, and it, it, well, you know, they do actually show him doing a lot of To be fair, he does kick pretty much everyone's ass. He does have a lot of really good martial arts shit that he pulls out. Yeah. Yes. But I don't know why he doesn't stick to it. I was wondering that myself. Nice. He's more effective with that than he ever is with the knives in the movies. And he gets defeated because he's using the knives while they're running at him and punching him. <laughs> Why don't you just punch them back like you've been doing for this entire battle <laughs> that you've been winning? Mm -hmm. Well, like, on top of that, if you really want to convince Wilby Goldberg there are walking, talking turtles walk yeah. around the city, Why didn't they show, Why didn't show her the fucking picture she took of them going away? Yeah. <laughs> and since no one can show you pictures of actual turtles, you just had to somehow make my case. <laughs> oh my she looks like the. I, I saw them face to face. They look like this box turtle. <laughs> You're really expecting to make your argument. Like, that's that's the thing. Like, no one would try to push that. No one. Except no person. Fun. No human being. Like, there's nothing that gives these characters any real, like, mm. at least in the 90s movies, like, yeah, there were some cheesy things, but the characters still felt like people. Yeah. I know the elevator scene was pretty awesome. The elevator scene <laughs> and the snow chase were the only good parts of the movie. Agreed. The elevator clip I saw online, and it was the thing that made me give this movie a chance. Mm -hmm. Again, I, I want to keep in mind, Muha volunteered for this. I didn't ask him to do it because I wasn't that cruel. I <laughs> said, I said, I, I thought it was my first assignment. You're like, hey, we're going to be doing TMNT. I'm like, I'll be there. Now you said, no, you. I just put around thing. I tagged people. I didn't tag you, and you sent me because I was like, I'll suffer through. I was like. Cool! So, then oh God, that was your first- right, I did volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> I was this close to backing out of it. Yeah, like, Sarah took- like, Driving to it, I felt like, I was like, wait a minute, I still haven't seen Guardians of the Galaxy, why am I giving my money to this? <laughs> you already saw it. And now I feel bad, and I have to go see it tomorrow, I can No, actually, Guardians of the Galaxy is a way better movie than this. I, I don't expect any less, I just need a, a palate cleanser. <laughs> and a feeling that I haven't betrayed my film- Obligations. Well, I know how we feel most of the time. <laughs> Half the stuff we see, I don't even want to. It's just like, eh. Hey, you know stuff. what? You know what the worst part is? I saw Into the Storm yesterday, and that was a ten times better movie than this. Was it still terrible. It was still awful, but okay. it was hysterical at the same time. So, because there was a part later in that movie where the, the the tank flies up to the heavens, and you see above the clouds, and practically and. Angel's practically sane right before the guy plummets to his death. It is the most amazing piece of cinema I have seen in years. <laughs> that that wide eye expression you had, that's pretty much everyone in my audience. We're all either laughing hysterically or going, uh <laughs> I was like, how are you watching this? <laughs> and I, apparently I knew about the scene beforehand. Like I didn't know that was near the I guess near the end. Probably. It's like it's like the climax. Spoiler! It's well, amazing. The is like, I actually saw that bit in the trailer. It's just like ha <laughs> ha. Can I ask you something? Why did they send a tank to fight a tornado? Actually, it's supposed to. It's supposed to. They want to get the eye of the tornado, so they want. Why they, did they send a tank to fight a tornado? <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's, it's supposed to be like one of the things that like anchors itself to like, into the ground. They explain it in the movie where it's like it's, it's made to explain resist high wind. To me, why? Yeah, don't, why is it sent to fight the tornado? It's, it's, that doesn't answer it. It's not meant to fight the tornado. It's meant to watch the tornado watchers. So they basically want to film the inside of the tornado. 
That sounds very. It's as dumb as it sounds. Yeah. But that's that's. They have equipment again. for that. <laughs> they have actual equipment for that. But they want the live launchers. actual footage. Of there actually the are video. vehicles that do that. Okay, okay that's we're, my point. Okay, we're we're getting. <laughs> we're talking about an entirely different movie now. Yeah. That was better than this. <laughs> you didn't even see it. Yeah, but yeah, it was actually better than this. It sounds better than this, just from the sound. Of it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so, so like, I will done. admit that even though <laughs> we I recap can we this? say more about this at this point? <laughs> I guess I'll I, say my right, two crappy sense. Um, clearly, I enjoyed it more than the rescue, but even then, I'll still admit it was just kind of. Eh. Although I think it's just because I was grasping for straws to try and find enjoyment. Admittedly, like that was I'll, too. But I was like, in there expecting to have a good time. Well, here's the other thing. <laughs> the funny thing. Here's the other thing I find funny though is like the Michael Bay movies that you enjoy, we didn't, and the ones we. Yeah, I like Pain and Gain fine. You hate it more than I did. Awesome. <laughs> pain and Gain was a shitstorm. <laughs> I mean, granted, I still thought it sucked, but I liked it more than you did. Pain and Gain, <laughs> watching Pain and Gain is like watching very bad things. Like the movie. In the, into the Storm. <laughs> have you seen the movie Very Bad Things? I've not. You mean actually. Killer Joe? <laughs> no. Very Bad Things. It's actually the called, movie. Really? Oh. It's called Very Bad Things. It no. stars a bunch of people from the 90s, like Cameron Diaz and Christian Slater. Nice. Um, seriously. Wait, it's, it's not movie 43, is it? Uh. No, it's it's seriously a movie that is based around the entire idea that everyone involved is a complete piece of shit, and it's it like basically friendships get destroyed and everyone ends up killing each other, and it ends on like the bleakest, most horrible note possible. Sounds like the making of this movie. You really should watch <laughs> Killer Joe then again. I have. I need to look up that other. Yeah, so do yeah. I. Uh... Well, we can watch very bad things together. But the thing was, there's a certain element of beautiful <laughs> horror to it. It's the we're whole the, thing we're of on like the same wavelength. Like, this is scary. It, it's the whole thing of like this is a really real. We're watching some terrible things being done to people right now, <laughs> and the people involved are just screaming about their own needs, and it's just complete chaos and horror. But there's something funny about it because this is all meant to be satire, and it's stupid. And Pain and Gain fell into that. Pain and Gain, you were watching a bunch of people who were total pieces of shit yeah, just trick and manipulate each other, and it at least was funny and had fun. Especially when you get to the part where The Rock is grilling this hands This is still a, a true story. And it yeah. says in big font, this is still a true story. Just to remind yeah. you, by the way. Yeah. Um, but, like, <laughs> that at least had that to it. It did. It this, really every time it tried to be funny, fell on its fucking face. It did. And... Uh, For me, it's like, I actually, as I said, like, like, as I said with... I like Megan Fox. I don't like her as April uh, O'Neil. I this. like her as a person, and I like what she's trying to do, <laughs> even though if she's being ferreted towards other things and her main social anxieties are really making it difficult for her to be a business person. But um, I don't uh, blame I her for the role that she's handed and this is a terrible role. I will admit. This, right. yeah. this Ironically, was this... a terrible role. She is just there to be the gay sex machina and be there for the male gays. And, Which they acknowledged. Uh, and it, 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 so blatantly. It hurts. And if if you like the the Turtles franchise in any other incarnation, don't see this film. Once again, though, as I said, that's apparently a very divisive thing. Uh, I just gotta say this part. You know the part in the movie where uh, Megan Fox pops on the roof like, I have the mutagen! All I could think of was that part from how it the should have ended. The first Transformers with the spark! <laughs> he did the same thing! Yeah. <laughs> Holy no, shit! No, 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 no! Like, here's what I'm thinking. Like, it's a part in the how it should have ended with Transformers 2, yeah. where it says, like, we need to revive Optimus Prime. Only the Allspark can bring him back. And then Megan Fox says, I had this piece the whole time! <laughs> it's like, that's all I could think of. Because it's exactly the same fucking thing. Because uh. pops on over and says, I had this plot device! And then and that comes in handy. But yeah, basically it's the same fucking thing in the ending of Transformers 1. <laughs> it's just, me, wait, one Let me put it this way. Let's try the buff. You know, if, oh, you, yeah. if you watch the Turtles for watching them kick ass and watching stupid people say stupid things to each other and you think that's funny, yeah, I look down on you. But um, <laughs> aside from that, this movie is for you. This Have fun. Funny. If you if you want if you like watching stupid people say stupid things to each other and that's hilarious to you, if you watch like Real Housewives of anything, then like yeah, that's your bar of humor. Go have fun, enjoy this. But if you actually gave a shit about any of the personalities of the turtles before yes. and how they interacted with each other and how they were friends and the idea that people in the movies are meant to be competent people following storylines. Yeah. yeah, competent people following storylines that are ridiculous as though they were real because they're real in the context of the movie. 
then um, you won't like this. No, <laughs> yeah. not at all. As much as I agree with you, I have to say this for, uh, so I don't get a thousand angry comments from people, like fans of like reality TV. Yeah. Their the opinions of Muha do not reflect the opinions. Of My the opinions do not reflect the opinions of this whole thing. But it's but like it's they're probably pretty close though. Yeah, they, they <laughs> are. You watch but still, any show that makes it seem like it's always sunny in Philadelphia happens in real life, and that's okay. Ugh. I fucking hate that show. I yeah. love that show to pieces, but I will Once never again. ever advocate it for being <laughs> a model for real people. Okay, oh, that's the problem. Yes. So if and we're gonna act like those are real people, then I don't know. That's, I'm that's, trying to think that's that, society's downfall. And now I think I realize the main difference is like, in for the most part, I don't enjoy a lot of things in which people are just being dicks to each other. Yeah. Yeah. And like that's made because like, aside from Killer Joe, because. Everybody got like the ultimate comeuppance in that movie, although I don't know, as I said, bad things happen in the movie. I don't know if it's anywhere near as bad as that. What, in Killer Joe? Yeah. What about Killer? What about. I was just like, I was saying that's like the only. The fact that it's a bad movie or the fact that horrible things happen to it? I was gonna say that's the only example of a movie that I enjoyed where like every. We're just like. It was just deliciously evil the whole way through. Yeah. Just everything was like that was horrible. Like when I yeah like Pain and Gain, it's always sunny in Philadelphia, and a couple other things. Just like I don't like those kind of things. I like it. Well, well we can get into a discussion. Yeah, about yeah that's, that's right. That's another. Uh, anyway, let's do closing yeah. comments. Okay, uh, closing comments, and we also got trailers. So, yeah. trailers. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's part of our process. We go with trailers at the end. Yeah. But, um. Yeah. So oh, we watch the trailers for the movie. Oh yeah, like you. Yeah, that's right. You weren't there for him. I forgot. Yeah. yeah sorry. Like you shouldn't like. Uh, so yeah, most like. So most likely, if you're a fan, you're probably not going to like this. There's going to be the few. And far people in between, like, I have a couple friends who say, you know, as I said, not terrible, but... Eh. It, it really just yeah. sucks. I mean, <laughs> I, we've gone over every point we've had. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's, it really sucks. Like, the only highlights, like, real highlights, in respect, are... Snow yes. Case. Yeah, snow scene, elevator, elevator scene. and occasionally, depending, like, depending on your tolerance, the interplay between the turtles, like, we actually... I kind of, I was okay yeah. with it. Uh, but I, I will admit, I, Michelangelo got annoying fast. Yeah. And he wasn't originally, and, and that made me sad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, so, uh... If, if you're yeah. a, a fan of, of the franchise and any other in incarnation, you will... This is going to be painful for you to watch. That's my closing comment yeah. on it. All right. So, trailers, then. There's only two I really want to talk about, so I'm only tempted to limit to those two. The first one we got was Interstellar, with uh, basically Matthew McConaughey in space. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's Christopher Nolan yeah. I'm looking for. Let's to find the God's eyeball. <laughs> and basically, yeah. Uh, I, I actually like, think that it, uh, it it looks decent. I'm, I'm kind of curious to, to see it. Again, it's Christopher Nolan, so yeah. my hopes are high. Maze Runner, I've already talked about like five times, so I'm not going to go over yeah, it. The only... Oh, sorry, I was going to say, the only time Nolan's been any disappointed was with his producing for a certain movie. Once you again, still hated Man of Steel way more than I did. <laughs> I understand why people didn't like it. Yeah. I thought it was fine, but that's just me. Apparently fine a minority. Fine is not good. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's also the best way to describe this movie. <laughs> Once again, although in all fairness, I wouldn't say this movie was fine. It was tolerable because I had really, 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 really low expectations. Wait, and yeah. also for once, I just, I think my brain just said, screw it. There's no, I think it was self-preservation. Uh, oh, ah, there we go. That, that's what I tried to to do, but because of my nostalgia and fondness for for the original cartoon, I couldn't be entirely yeah. apathetic. It's like when me and Wes saw Haunted House 2, there's a part where Wes like, started laughing away. I've never House. heard a Haunted House. Oh, that one, yeah. There's a part where Wes started laughing away. I've never heard him laugh before. I was like, what are you doing? And he looks at me and goes, if I don't laugh, I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yes. Okay, so Major, I'm going to skip because I've talked about it a thousand times. I have nothing new to say about it. Uh, this one, Dracula Untold. Lame. <laughs> That's what I heard you say. Like it's like this is terrible, and then I heard Sarah go lame, like really loud. Like okay, it just <laughs> looks. Mm. Yeah, I don't care. I, I don't honestly care. This one, the one I want to talk about though, actually looks interesting. Uh, Muha, you've probably have seen some stuff about this Book of Life, the new anime movie. It's a, produced by Guillermo del Toro. Oh no. You haven't heard anything about this? No. Because it has like the all the cartoon characters are like animated to look like puppete like puppets in like a puppeteer show. Mm -hmm. It actually looks really really unique. Interesting. Uh, like it's all basically like based on De los de los Muertos. I can't remember if that's it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not. Although Millie is like, wait, I thought Pixar was doing this. Oh, it's something completely different. Okay. No, it's a totally different well, company. 
Um, now nah, I'm up on I'm on up on a completely different side of Gilmore Del, Del Toro hype. So <laughs> fair enough. Now, like uh, Silent Hills. <laughs> oh yeah! 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 Oh, God. <laughs> Gilmore yeah. Del Toro and Hideo Kojima? Yeah! And Daryl fucking Dixon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Norman Reedus. He's an actor. He doesn't count. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but still, I do agree with you, Grant. But no, like, this movie, like, I, just, no, I like Norman Reedus, but, like, to, to, like, to get as excited about him being a part of the project as, like, Gilmore Del Toro is. And like, Hideo Kojima. Yeah. Come on, buddy. <laughs> I'm glad that Brad Pitt was an inglorious bastard, but he's not going to make me as excited about the fact that, you know, it's a Tarantino movie, you know what that's, I mean? That's yeah. very yes. true. Because uh, World War Z still sucked. But so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was okay. No, it sucked. Well, that's but another movie review. You're <laughs> wrong on this one. Anyway. Uh, hey, you said this is like a car of opinions, not facts. <laughs> hey, don't get personal, Grant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting personal. I'm getting angrily moderate or something. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> but no, like, uh, You're getting off. The one thing I'm looking forward to oh, we, looking like is like track. if nothing else, it's Ron Perlman as a villain. And every time Ron Perlman is a villain, is always consistently amazing. Oh, that's who that like, voice Perlman was. is always consistently. Oh well, yeah, but like especially as a villain, he has a very soft spoken voice that is just instantly just chills you to the bone. Yes. Like, well, you know from this first thing, like, we're both Adventure Time fans, and we know he plays the Lich on that show, and he's always just fantastic on that. That's right. That show. He also played. Uh, the Deathstroke in the Teen, Titan, uh, Teen Titans cartoons, and he was always consistently the best part about that show. He's a great voice actor. He's like he Patrick is. Warburton. In real life, he's awesome, but uh, in cartoons, he's magical. <laughs> and, like, he even played the Emil Blonsky in the Incredible Hulk game, and I thought he was great in that really? too. Yeah, yeah, he was like in the old school Xbox One Incredible Hulk game. Like he was. Like, you mean the, the one that was uh, the 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 one based destruction. on the movie? Yeah. Oh. yeah! That was a great, was the good one. That was a great game. And the he, one like, where you upgraded with smash points that you got from <laughs> smashing things, and you yeah, get more ways like, to tear smash. down just entire buildings, making like fucking boxing gloves out of cars, which a new movie eventually ripped off. <laughs> oh yeah, or when you crush a when you crush a. a, a a city bus and skate around on it. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot how to skate. And I just mentioned you like take a construction car, use like the fucking ball and chain. Yeah, as no, a definitely. Rip. Anyway, but anyway, so, yeah. Uh, uh, Ron Perlman, Gilmo del Toro, always great. So yeah, I think I might wrap everything that we already kind of said our final thoughts. So uh, this is preview's gone on long enough, so I'll probably wrap it up here. Fuck uh, this movie. Yes. Yeah, fuck it. It's it sucks. I'm not trying to be a fan. I mean, even I know it sucks. So. It does. Yeah, uh, that's about it for this week. So next week we have what's next week? The Expendables 3. Oh, yeah, that just came out today. Yeah, it just came out today. Oh, I need to watch Expendables 2. Uh, that's yes. A, that's actually a really fucking good movie. <laughs> I enjoyed the shit out of Expendables 1. <laughs> no, Expendables 2 was, like, way better. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I did not enjoy Expendables 1. I really enjoyed Expendables 2. You want to see John, want to see John Claude Van Damme versus, like, uh, Sylvester Stallone? <laughs> this movie's amazing. <laughs> I, I, I think uh, Terry Crews' shotgun. Oh! And, uh, cry, oh, and a mix of, um, what was it? Jumping, flaming Randy Couture punch into Stone Cold Steve Austin's face, I think, was the <laughs> other uh, thing that really got me about that. There's d d Randy Couture on fire, literally, <laughs> punching Stone Cold Steve Austin. I don't remember him being on fire, but then again, I remember... It was, when, it was at the end where they're blowing things up yeah. just to blow things up, yeah. and there's, there's like fire all over, burning nothing. Right. And he jumps out of the fire, through the fire, to punch Stone Cold Steve oh, Austin right. <laughs> on fire. <laughs> Yeah. So we have the Expendables the three, Fire. and we have the Giver. I'm I'm tempted to skip that one because I really don't care. Uh, don't here's, see here's here's a, here's something a good reason to skip the Giver. I read an article about it that said the biggest problem with this is that it took a very quiet, pensive book and turned it into an action movie to oh, this geez. new generation. Well, let's go see his it's much better movie. Let's be cops. Let's go see that one. Yes, <laughs> I am down. Wait, seriously? Yes! <laughs> that movie looks ridiculous! Okay, fuck it, fine, you and I will see it. I'm <laughs> so ready to see That looks so fucking stupid and illegal that I just want to see it, just to live vicariously okay. through that day. I want to point out, you volunteer for this one too. And it's on camera? <laughs> it's on friend, camera. It's a friend of mine saw it, he said it was fun. I'm gonna go see it. Okay, fine, you and I will check it out. Here's what I've heard, that. we called it. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll, it's, it's, yeah, so that movie's probably gonna suck. Uh, it has 11% of Rotten Tomato, FYI. But it's funny. Oh. We'll find out. So that's next week. Until then, I will see y'all guys later. And yeah, good tidings and all that. Don't see this movie. Bye. Don't. Bye.